Hello everybody, this is Gigi from Kauai Community College. In this video, we will be talking about integration by trig substitution. And this is number three in the series. So watch the previous two before this one. Okay, so suppose you have the integral of square root of x squared minus 9 all divided by x squared dx okay now um, this doesn't look like any substitutions that you have seen before right but when we are thinking about x squared minus 9 we should be thinking about a right triangle right a right triangle where 3 is the hypotenuse actually no not 3 um, x is the hypotenuse because it's x squared minus 9 and 3 is this leg right here so that this leg right here is square root of x squared minus 9 and suppose you are looking at this angle theta right here okay so what you have is um, with this angle theta secant Okay, or, or actually uh, in my brain, I think cosine. Cosine of theta is 3 over x. That means then secant of theta is x over 3, or we will say x is 3 secant theta. Okay, so that's the substitution that we are going to use in this case. Okay, now if x is secant of theta, then you would say your dx is um, 3, and the derivative of secant theta is secant theta tangent theta d theta. And that's what we're going to use to substitute dx with, right? So here I have x, I have dx. Now I need to know... Um, square root of x squared minus 9. Well, tangent, okay, so if this is theta right here, tangent of theta will be square root of x minus 9 over 3, right? So tangent of theta is square root of x squared minus 9 over 3. So that square root of 9, um, x squared minus 9 is 3 tangent theta. And these are the three things that I need in my substitution, right? So good. Now I'm going to go back and rewrite this as square root of, okay, square, um, um, the integral of um, square root of x squared minus 9 would be 3 tangent theta over x squared. And x squared is um, 9 secant squared theta multiplied by dx. And dx is 3 secant theta tangent theta d theta. Okay, so some things are going to get divided out here, like... 3 times 3 is 9, which cancel with that 9. 1 of the secant square will cancel with 1 of the secant square down here. So I have, um, we write, clean up my integral here. That would be the integral of tangent square theta over secant theta d theta. Okay. Now, I know that tangent squared theta is equal to um, secant squared theta minus 1 divided by secant squared theta d theta, okay? Um, this looks like I have two fractions here. So then this integral will equal to the integral of secant squared divided by secant is secant theta d theta minus the integral of 1 over secant theta d theta but 1 over secant really is just cosine of theta d theta therefore i can integrate 
Um, the second one is easy, right? The integral of, um, of cosine is sine. Um, this one right here, uh, secant theta, I'm going to need a trick. And, and you have seen this trick before. But I'm going to do that again just so that you can see because it's so beautiful, this trick here. Secant theta, d theta. I'm going to multiply that by um, tangent theta plus secant theta. Okay? Um, tangent theta plus secant theta. Now, when I multiply by 1, this numerator becomes secant secant square theta plus secant theta tangent theta. Uh, need some room there. Hold on one second. This becomes the numerator becomes secant square theta plus secant theta tangent theta d theta and the denominator is tangent theta plus secant theta, right? Do you see that if I let um, this be my u, then this right here is my du, right? Therefore, that integral is just an integral of 1 over u du, so that is going to equal to ln of absolute value of tangent theta plus secant theta plus c1. Okay, so that is the um, integral of this one right here. Okay, so how nice. I'm going to go ahead and write that down. That would be ln of absolute value of tangent theta plus secant theta minus sine of theta d theta. Okay, now all I need to do now is just to go ahead and substitute um, back what, um, what my theta are so that I can get my x's, right? Because really, the, um, the integral that I had to start out with was the integral of x squared minus 9 over x squared dx. So my answer should be in terms of x. So that would be ln of the absolute value of. Let's go back and see what tangent and secant is. Um, tangent right here is going to be um, square root of x squared minus 9 over 3, and then secant is x over 3. Both of them has a denominator of 3, so I'm going to write all over 3, and then I would have square root of x squared minus 9 plus x, okay, minus sine of theta. Let's go and look at our triangle and see what sine of theta is. Um, sine of theta right here is theta, so sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. That would be square root of x squared minus 9 all over x plus c. Don't forget your plus c, and that is your final answer to this problem. So yeah, this could get complicated. It could be a doozy, but um, let's go back and um, see what we have learned here in this scenario, right? So in this scenario, when you have um, an when you have uh, an integral that is involved square root of x squared minus a squared per se, we are going to use uh, this substitution, x is equal to a secant theta. And that's something that uh, with practice you will recognize, all right? But I'm going to go ahead and let you um, ponder that 
and think about it and, and you know what you can always draw your triangle just like this so um, don't worry about really memorizing them rather know how to write out your triangle label your parts and figure out the substitution okay and don't forget your trick identities as well